Virgin Mary is the most revered female figure in Christian theology. She is recognized as the Holy Virgin and the Queen of Heaven by both the Catholic, Orthodox, and Protestant churches. Virgin Mary is honored with great respect as the Mother of God and holds one of the most important cults in Christian faith. The New Testament describes Mary as a chosen young virgin by God. She gives birth to Jesus in Bethlehem and later raises him in Nazareth. She witnesses her son's death and resurrection in Jerusalem, where he was crucified. After her death, Mary is assumed into heaven by Jesus. This event is called the Assumption of Mary in the Catholic Church, while in the Orthodox Church, it is known as the Dormition of the Mother of God. Virgin Mary, since early Christianity, has been a revered and respected figure, considered the most sacred and miraculous saint by millions of believers. The branch of theology called Mariology focuses solely on matters related to Mary and her cult. Topics such as Mary's virgin birth and assumption into heaven form some of the most serious points of discussion in Mary theology. The Catholic and Orthodox churches view Mary as a figure of great significance, attributing to her a goddess-like position. They practice praying through her, worshiping her, and showing respect to her. Emphasis is placed on Mary's virginity and her role as the mother of God. In contrast, Protestant churches place less emphasis on Mary's role regarding her virginity and being the mother of God with less importance. In Islamic belief, she also holds great importance. She is frequently mentioned in the Quran and is considered a respected figure among Muslims. While there are different approaches to Mary's cult and beliefs, she is generally remembered with deep respect and admiration by millions of people worldwide. Mary, known as the Virgin Mary in Christianity, holds great importance due to the fact that she was impregnated by the Holy Spirit without engaging in any sexual relations and miraculously gave birth to her son Jesus as a virgin. As a result, she is attributed with numerous titles, one of which is the Beata Maria Virgo, BMV, meaning Blessed Virgin Mary, emphasizing her immaculateness. The Orthodox Church addresses her as Theotokos, Mother of God, and Panagia, All Holy, while the Catholic Church refers to her as Madonna, Our Lady. Additionally, she is also given the title of Queen of Heaven. These titles have also been used in the past for Mesopotamian goddesses like Ishtar and Egyptian goddesses like Isis. Our belief in the Immaculate Virgin is one of the foundations of the Church. This belief, shared by both the Catholic Church and the Orthodox Church, has been a significant cornerstone since the early stages of Christianity, starting from the 2nd century when communal worship began to emerge. St. Justin drew a connection between Mary and Eve, emphasizing that Mary was the woman who redeemed the original sin. This is an interesting point because she, in her own essence, deserved the respect shown to her purity without the approval of any man. The central position of Mary in Christian theology dates back to the 5th century. The cult of Mary began in Egypt in the 3rd century and quickly spread throughout Asia Minor and Greece, reaching Rome. 
During the First Council of Ephesus, the cults of Mary were officially recognized, and with the Edict of Milan, the display of Mary icons in churches, basilicas, and public spaces was approved. This resulted in the construction of the oldest and most sacred church dedicated to Mary, the Basilica of Santa Maria Maggiore. In the Byzantine Empire, she is also regarded as the Mother of God, and magnificent churches like the Hagia Sophia are dedicated to her. However, the true center of the cult of Mary is in Asia Minor, particularly in Ephesus. The cult of Mary in Ephesus emerged in a settlement that was famous for the sacred temples of the goddess Artemis during the pre-Christian era. With the acceptance of Christianity, Ephesus became the central hub of the cult of Mary and transformed into a place with visitable locations like the House of Mary. The regular visits by pilgrims further elevated the religious significance of Ephesus. After the 7th century, Mary became an immensely important figure, especially in Orthodox Christianity. This is due to her prominence as the protector of the capital, Constantinople, and her heightened emphasis during periods when the Byzantine Empire was under threat. In the West, cities like Milan and Ravenna gradually incorporated ceremonies and celebrations dedicated to Mary into the Christian calendar. Relics, known as sacred artifacts, hold great importance for Christians. Mary's relics are also among the carefully preserved and highly revered ones. These relics include strands of Mary's hair, nails, and even traces of her breast milk. Additionally, there are fragments of Mary's belt, robe, and veil. These relics are visited by thousands of pilgrims every year. While theologians continue to debate the nature of Mary, believers offer devotions, prayers, and light candles to her as part of their daily lives. These devotions and acts of worship help believers express their love, respect, and reverence for Mary. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed this video. As always, remember that our learning journey is never ending and we'll continue to explore new knowledge together. Until next time.